हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू बिंदु डडवाल केमिस्ट्री लेसन डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन वी कैन डिटर्मिन ऑर्डर ऑफ रिएक्शन बाय फाइव मेथड्स फर्स्ट इज ग्राफिकल मेथड देन सेकेंड वन इंटीग्रेटेड रेट लॉ मेथड देन ओसवाल्ड आइसोलेशन मेथड इनिशियल रेट मेथड एंड हाफ लाइफ मेथड ऑफ दीज द फर्स्ट टू ग्राफिकल मेथड एंड इंटीग्रेटेड रेट लॉ मेथड विल डू टूडे so uh in the graphical method this method is used when there is only one reactant the steps are concentration of reactant at different times is measured a graph is plotted concentration versus time from this graph the instantaneous rate of reaction at different times is calculated by finding out the slopes of the tangents corresponding to different times when these slopes are determined uh, that is the instantaneous rates are determined then we plot a, another graph of rate of reaction versus concentration or concentration square or concentration cube and so on where a straight line is obtained it means that rate is proportional to that concentration raised to power that order concentration raised to power n where n is the order of reaction for example when you plot concentration rate versus concentration and you get a straight line which is parallel to the x axis then that means rate does not depend upon concentration of reactant rate law expression will be rate is equal to k into r raised to power 0 so that means the reaction is zero order reaction then uh if if a straight line comes in the graph of rate versus concentration then this kind of order is this time kind of reaction is of first order reaction and the rate equation is rate is equal to k into r raised to power 1 if a straight line comes between rate and concentration of reactant square rate law expression will be rate is equal to k into r square and reaction will be of second order n is 2 when a uh, such a straight line comes between rate and r cube the reaction is third order and rate law expression is rate is equal to k into r raised to power q for example if the reaction is 2 n2o5 gives 4 no2 plus o2 all the reactants and products are in gaseous state you can uh, easily measure the pressure of these gaseous substances and then you can later on convert this pressure into concentration now this concentration when it is available in moles per liter this is plotted against time the rate at different times is obtained by measuring the slope of the tangent corresponding to these times now supposing the rate comes to be 3.4 into 10 to the power minus 4 when the concentration was 1.13 into 10 is to power minus 2 similarly at other concentrations the rate are here we will plot a graph of rate versus concentration here is the graph based on these data so the graph comes out to be a straight line if the graph comes out to be a straight line then that means rate is proportional to n2o5 raised to power 1 and rate law expression is rate is equal to k into n2o5 so order of reaction will be 1 and uh, here we plotted rate versus concentration square as the graph does not come to be a straight line it's a curve so this means that the order is not a second order reaction so um, out of all the plots that we obtain the one plot where there is a straight line shows that rate is proportional to that very concentration so this is graphical method for determination of order of reaction use of integrated rate equation to find order of reaction in this the kinetic data is fitted to different integrated rate equations 
wherever the data fit with the equation for the correct order of the reaction that there it will give a constant value for rate constant for all data points that is concentration at different times so if you get uh, a data where you have concentration at different times you are fitting the data into say a rate law expression for first order reaction and all the different experiments give you the same value of rate constant then that means the reaction is a first order reaction similarly if rate constant comes to be same for uh, an equation of second order equation then that means the reaction is of second order so here are uh, different reactions for zero order first order second order for zero order rate law expression is rate is equal to k and equation corresponding integrated equation will be concentration of a is equal to minus kt plus concentration of a not that is initial concentration if you plot a versus t and you get a linear plot then for that plot whatever is the slope will give you the value of minus k similarly for first order reaction rate law expression will be rate is equal to k into concentration of a the integrated equation in the form of a straight line will be log a is equal to minus kt upon 2.303 plus log a not and uh, plot of log a versus t will give you a linear straight line and slope of this plot will give you the value of k slope will be equal to minus k into 2.303 and intercept will give you the log of a not similarly second order reaction uh, rate law expression will be rate is equal to k into a square the integrated rate equation will be 1 upon a is equal to kt plus 1 upon a not linear plot will be 1 upon a versus t slope will be k and intercept will be 1 upon a not so here we see that for a zero order reaction a versus t you get a slope the intercept gives you value of a not and slope of minus k for log a versus t for first order reaction intercept will be log a not slope will be minus k upon 2.303 and for second order you plot 1 upon a versus t the slope of the line will give you the value of k and intercept will give you 1 upon a not and graph ascends so uh, integrated rate expression you can either use this expression and find the value of k k comes out to be constant then reaction is of that order jis bhi equation ke liye k constant aa raha hai वही ऑर्डर होगा फर्स्ट के लिए आ रहा है तो फर्स्ट ऑर्डर होगा सेकंड के लिए आ रहा है इस एक्सप्रेशन में के कांस्टेंट आ रहा है तो रिएक्शन सेकंड ऑर्डर होगा सो लेट अस डू अ प्रैक्टिस प्रॉब्लम टू अंडरस्टैंड इंटीग्रेटेड रेट लॉ मेथड द रेट ऑफ डीकंपोजिशन ऑफ हाइड्रोजन परोक्साइड एट अ पर्टिकुलर टेंपरेचर वाज मेजर्ड बाय टाइट्रेटिंग इट सॉल्यूशन विद एसिडिक केएमएनओ4 सॉल्यूशन following results were obtained at zero time amino came no four used was 22.8 after 10 minutes came no four uh, used was only 13.8 moles for after 20 minutes 8.3 that means the hydrogen peroxide had probably decomposed after 20 minutes and only small amount was left for which came no four needed was less question is show that the reaction is of first order and calculate the rate constant the solution implies that whatever is the volume of came no four used is proportional to the amount of hydrogen peroxide present if reaction is of first order and if it is of first order it must obey the equation k is equal to 2.303t log a not upon a because volume is given here we can change the equation as k is equal to 2.303 upon t log of v not upon vt here v not is the maximum amount of kemno4 used 22.8 ml 
and uh, when t is equal to 10 vt will be 13.8 10 13.8 so putting the values in the expression k is equal to 2.303 upon 10 log of 22.8 upon 13.8 answer comes out to be 0 0.05022 minute inverse similarly when t is equal to 20 vt comes out to be 8.3 k is equal to 2.303 upon t 20 log 22.8 upon vt 8.3 this again comes out to be 0 0.0503 minute inverse so the 2k values are almost same so reaction is of first order and mean value of k will be average of the two values so this is how we can find out the order of reaction by graphical method and integrated rate law expression method